We made it to Kampot in southern Cambodia. This morning we took a bus from Phnom Penh and we're excited to explore a new part. That's right, quick and easy. We already met a friend and we're gonna go do a tour right away. <laughs> we made it on our tick tick and we're gonna go explore. And to be honest, we have no idea what this tour involves, but it's cheap if you split it with someone else. So we did, and we're doing that. So let's see. We do know there's a pepper plantation that we're going to visit. advantage of having a little private tuk-tuk chauffeur here. We're making pit stops along the way. We just stopped at this dam because it's beautiful. I didn't expect this in Cambodia. They use it to get to like the mango fields and the durian fields to get water to them. And Look at so this. Beautiful. beautiful lake. driving along and he just pointed out a mango farm so up on this hill there's just a bunch of beautiful mango trees just growing right next to us yep. and here we have a durian farm this is so cool it's definitely a rocky road folks it's uh how do you say it in dutch wobbly wobbler Wobbler. <laughs> 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 We made it to La Plantation, it's called, and it is a pepper farm and they offer free tours here. So we are going, you just have to get here. So that's part of our tour was getting here. And so we're gonna go do a tour and learn about it. We made it to this beautiful place and it's stunning. And not only that, but our timing was perfect because it tours in 10 minutes, a free tour. Get over how amazingly nice and comfortable and well built this is for being so f remote, so far from everything. Yeah, I, I feel actually, like we're in the middle of nowhere, but it's in, just so comfortable. In doing some research on Campot, I actually came across this plantation, so it's really cool that through our hostel we were able to come here because it's beautiful. I mean, it's on our tables, we eat it all the time on every meal, and yet we don't really know where it comes from. Well, that's what I was always interested in knowing. And here I am, learning about how pepper is made at this beautiful plantation, run by these two French, a uh, couple of engineers that decide to make this plantation and also provide a school to the community. On the tour, we learned all about how pepper is made. It takes four years for the plant to mature, and after that, it can be harvested. One thing we learned is that it's all done by hand. So they have a pair of scissors, and they come and cut it, and then collect them, and then they have to separate them to go to the next stage. So, so much work for pepper, it's amazing. After the peppers have been hand-picked, they are sorted depending on the type of pepper they produce. Then, they are taken to the processing facility, where they're dried out in the sun, cleaned, and grated. Honestly, I just recommend you come check out this place yourselves. It's beautiful and it's just a good business. We next got to do a pepper tasting of some of the many peppers they produce. So much flavor, oh my goodness. A clove, a 
flower smell and mm. also a smell like ginger. Okay, it's sweet. You said it would be sweet, and then it'll attack you. The green pepper was amazing. And I like the salted one too. It's so mm. cool. This is more a mm. spice mix, but it's it's crazy how much flavor you can get from little spices. Oh wow. Wow. Dried pineapple. And dried mango. Spice on it. I gotta try the mango. You said it was spicy. <clears throat> you get the cake afterwards. Yeah, this one's spicy. You're making fun of me earlier. <clears throat> This is mango. Dried mango with pepper, two of my favorite things. Oh my gosh, Genius. this is amazing. I think the takeaway from this is that I'm gonna start adding pepper to absolutely everything. <laughs> I already do that. <laughs> <laughs> and getting different types of pepper too, like green Kempot pepper We're eventually is gonna have phenomenal. a kitchen and we're gonna fill it with pepper. A fancy pepper selection. We made it to the salt flats. The sun is setting, it is beautiful. Also on the drive here, everybody just smiles so like much here. full, genuine smiles. It's beautiful. And they wave and it's just beautiful. And now the sun is setting on the salt flats. This is so cool. It's amazing. Moving along and there's a beautiful beach at sunset with all these table and chairs set up and people having dinner. This is so cute. It's so cute. Wow! Beautiful tuk-tuk ride. That was like just worth it by itself. Yeah, like, just for the tuk-tuk We did a whole tour of town. We saw the salt flash and the beaches and some beautiful lights. And just driving down that road was awesome. And so we got him to drop us off right downtown and we're gonna have dinner in Camp Hood. Camp Hot? Camp Hot. Dang it! Camp So many new places all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were the cutest when you say things, right? You are the cutest when you say things. <sighs> all right, let's figure out what we want to eat. So I got, I got another burger, but it's the Kimer burger. So it's the Cambodian take on the burger. It's got lemongrass and other spices. Bacon, Take a egg. bite. Oh my God. And I got a beer. Oh, what happens? How is it? This was a good decision. <laughs> this is excellent. Okay, try it out. This is Kima Curry, right? Mm hmm. Mm. Oh. It's so good. It's lemongrassy and delicious and exactly what I was looking for. It's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Happy camper. Nice. Mm. I think we enjoyed our food. It was very good. <laughs> that was a Google Maps recommendation. Good job, Google Maps. Thank you for the reviews. How is your food? Good? Very good. <laughs> Yay! Just about to pay for dinner, and the total was eleven fifty for my beer, my meal, and Devin's meal. They use USD and Cambodian reels here. Cambodian reels, look at all this money, aren't worth all that much. So this is only this is only eleven fifty right here, and it's like literally a wad in our wallet. Makes us feel wealthy. So having the USD definitely helps. With that in mind, we need to take out more money. We need to go to the ATM right now. We got some money. We're definitely afraid though of using ATMs and our credit cards, which by the way, we use credit cards instead of uh, debit cards because it actually costs less if you pay back a credit card right away. We're always afraid that our cards either gonna get stuck, we're gonna get charged without knowing it, or something else. Anyway, so it worked. We couldn't take out as much money as we thought. This is the second ATM we had to go to. Second ATM, so bit stressful, high tension, we're good. We gotta break down our $100 USD bills though, somewhere, probably at our hostel. We just wanted to share that with you because that's a big part of travel is in countries a lot of times, it's cash only and you have to figure out ways to take out money and you run out of money. So again, that's just average travel day stuff with Keith and Dev, but we wanna make sure we're sharing everything with you guys, not just the fun travel -y parts, but also the maybe stressful or less enjoyable parts as well. Thank you, bye. Good morning, good morning. It's actually two days later. Yesterday we had a bit of a work day. We'll film one of those one day. It's not too much going on, nothing too entertaining. Lots of computer stuff and planning. But, but we, we didn't even realize the hostel we were staying at is incredible. Yeah. And we are just about to go upstairs to the rooftop restaurant for breakfast.
ordered our breakfast and this is like a full on beautiful breakfast menu. It's a bit more expensive than we usually pay for breakfast as well. We're traveling, but for like compared to Canada prices, it is incredible. They also have real coffee, real coffee. Do you know how much instant coffee we have been drinking over the last few months? This is French press, amazing coffee. I'm so excited. Mm, it's so strong and so real and I'm so happy right now. Honestly, in Phnom Penh and over the last few weeks, I've been feeling a bit homesick. And I know this sounds silly, but just someone actually, a friend of mine just messaged me from home mentioning how it's little things that remind you of home that make you feel less homesick. And this place has definitely done that for me, so it's refilling my cup. But we, we made it somehow in the middle of Cambodia. We found this little haven with like-minded people and beautiful music and comfort. Last night it was amazing. There was live music right here where we sat and had some fancy cocktails for super cheap, had tacos to the Taco Tuesday. Like, really cool. Okay, our food's here and it looks amazing. I got the same thing as yesterday because I'm eating. It's my breakfast roll sandwich. Look at that, I got hash brown bacon, fried egg, tomato. Yesterday I had the cooked breakfast. I had the entire thing. I had the eggs, the bacon, the baked beans. But this morning it's a smaller breakfast. Maybe tomorrow I'll go back to the big one. How is it? Perfect. Is it good? So good. I'm it's so friend. nice, right? It's so good. And look at this egg. It'll just pop. Ready? This one too. Perfect poached. Oh my god. Amazing. As usual, that meal was amazing. Man, the food here has been so good. We are gonna brave this crazy heat though and head back into town to see a few art architectural buildings, see what downtown Camp Pot looks like during the day. Alright, let's explore. Hello. All right, we're in. When we first got here, we actually walked from downtown Camp Pot to our accommodation or at hostel here. Noon, like at the hottest time of day. <laughs> so it's it's, only, it's not that far. It took us like 25 minutes, but it's only a dollar USD <laughs> to take a tuk tuk so into town. About why do we so do that? I don't know. We're saving our energy so we can walk around downtown. It is a hot time of day, but it's worth it. We're gonna go <laughs> see what this place has and. We think it might be a nighttime place, but we saw it at night already and it was gorgeous. So we do want to see it during the day. When we first saw Camp Hot on Google Maps, we saw this little attraction labeled Durian Roundabout. And it's right here. <laughs> and ever since we saw that, we were like, we, were like, we have to that. go see it. And Look at this. Right I mean, it makes sense because there's so much durian fruit here. It's such a popular and sort of like national fruit. I don't know if it actually is. But it's everywhere. But it is, and they've got a huge, a huge giant durian in the center. That would be spiky and hurt your hand to hold. All right, shall we cross the roundabout? Yeah. Is this a bit of a roundabout? It's gonna be tricky. Okay, now we're good. Okay, look out for this motorcycle. It's crazy. It go. We go from Singapore, where it's illegal to jaywalk, to like. Jaywalking is what you do here. The only way to get around. <laughs> hey, glorious shade. Shade and trees. It's actually been not too bad because it's windy. We made it to the Lotus Pond, which was another thing we read to come check out. Being from Canada, we have a lot of lovely lakes and ponds. But there's a bunch of lotus flowers on it, so we'll go over to this thing and, and get a bit closer. Let's go check it out. Yeah. We're here like midday. I bet it'd be really gorgeous like during sunset as We're well. We're also here during dry season, so yeah, this entire really country would, would be a bit greener, yeah. Yeah. But it is very cute and peaceful, and we're the only ones here, which is pretty neat.
So we've learned a lot about Cambodia's history. One thing was that it was a French colony, so there's obviously a lot of French colonial architecture from the 19th century, just like this, because this was a very important seaport back in the day. We also learned Kampot is known for its high quality pepper, which we got to go on that awesome pepper tour. It's also known for Kampot fish sauce and durians apparently, which totally makes sense considering the roundabout. The internet says this is the possibly the chillest, most relaxed, touristy town in all of Cambodia that hasn't really grown as a tourist destination but is. I can tell you right now, there's this really beautiful sort of underground community, tons of ex expats living here. They come here for like a week and then they stay for months. Honestly, we extended our stay here. We did. It's, uh, it's worth stopping, stopping at, yeah. We ate not that long ago, but it's, you know, that time of day where we need some food and if we wait longer, then it'll be too late. We get late. angry. This place, being a French colonial place, has pie. So Keith's probably gonna get some pie. Look at that, I think this might be a Canadian place, Canadian Cambodia. Oh, that's so cool. There's a Canadian flag over there. Oh my goodness. This is my kind of place. <laughs> pies and poutine. It's gonna be a backwards lunch, folks. I'm actually really excited because this bottom flavor is Camp Hot Pepper ice cream. All the ice cream here is homemade, and I'm so excited to try it. I also got the Camp Hot Pepper ice cream. I mean, come on, you're you have here. to. You're, you're here. We went to the peppercorn you have to do plantation. It. I'm gonna try it. Oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's so good. What are your Who would have thought pepper ice cream? It's amazing! Andre Labrie, watch out! This might be your new favorite kind. Like, you can taste the pepper, and then it's like sweet with the creaminess. It is so good. Maybe my new favorite kind of ice cream. Wow, this is so cool. Ladies and gentlemen, people that appreciate pie, especially a good blueberry pie, look at this. Oh my gosh. Isn't the ice cream amazing? That's a great... It's a great flavor. It is peppery. Like it's it's peppery, spicy pepper. But with the sweet, creamy texture of ice cream, that's so fitting. Okay, try your pie. Let's see it. Does it level up to our tins? No, my mom's my mom's pie is out of this world, by the way. I can't you can't compare. <laughs> but I haven't had blueberry pie since Christmas. I was with my parents at Christmas. My mom makes tons of pies. This Feels like we got a mix of home in Cambodia in Camp Pot. Camp Pot's been a mix of home. It's been home in Cambodia. Aww. Oh man. I'm feeling really happy at the moment. Mm -hmm. I hope you're liking this video. <laughs> A beautiful temple just along the street. Randomly. Amazing. We're just walking back to our hostel and it's gorgeous. Like I love exploring new places when everything is new to you and different. It's, yeah, this place beautiful. is really quite a local experience, but it's, it feels novel. It but feels it's like, got that local experience, yeah. but then it also has given us taste of home, like the music sure, yeah. last it, night. It does feel like home with this novelty of local Cambodian experience. Yeah, or just the ice cream place was like a Canadian um, as well as Cambodian run place. Like, yeah. it's, it's been... It's been a really good mixture. Yeah. You know how we started this uh, this segment but a couple hours ago saying that we made the mistake of walking to our Airbnb with our backpacks the first thing we got here. Guess what we're doing now? We're walking back <laughs> at the It is Canada. heating up but we're walking back because screw it, we can see our trees. It's only 20 back. minutes. And exercise is important. It's good for your mental and Health. It sure is. And it's good to make you sweat. Woo! 
especially here. And now time to swim. This is gonna feel excellent.